honor as he has had a terrific first half of the season. Yeah, he's the only guy to keep it nice pass by LeBron James. Nice cut by Kevin Love. Got the guy in his back for some Marcus Aldridge. But this is where LeBron James is amazing. Just fires that ball. To Elbow, force the switch, and then get it back to Aldridge for that jump shot. Yeah, and Aldridge is playing with so much confidence as LeBron just plays the ball. There, guys. Right here, LeBron right now. Yeah, he's 33 years old. Right now, he knows that he can't just blow by guys. So what he does is puts his shoulder down and plays the bully game. No more, no more move. You know, I respect uh, Pop, and I respect his decision. And I still try to do my best, you know, coming off the bench. We, are, we all been there. Timing it up, getting to his sweet spot and able to convert there. Nice team wasn't coming and able to just get into attack mode. And LeBron knocks down that jumper. He's only one point away now from 30,000. The Cavs will have it for the final possession. I always say, Kevin, when you're a defender and you're known to defend, you can't, you can't look for a double team. When that guy's wearing E out, he'd be looking for double team pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there it is. That's the man they better double team. That was his 30,000 and 30,001 on that shot as we end the quarter. Wow. Incredible moment. That is, folks, there haven't been many. Only the seventh player ever. And the quickest to get to 30,000, LeBron James. You have to tip your cap to one of the all-time greats. Especially when he's a pass first. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the most amazing. <laughs> of all the guys on the list, the he's the only one. History was made tonight. LeBron James, 30,000 points. More importantly for the Cavs, can they get a victory? here on the road. Look crazy. Ball. Yeah, he shoots it well enough. He does everything really well. He can pass it. Boy, LeBron is just putting his head down and playing bully ball on him. That should have made it, especially the last couple years. Him getting a knock. And rebounding, the 15 rebounds. Yeah. So they can't keep going through the motions right now. We've got the American Express halftime show coming up. Right now, the Cavs are not a championship team. No. So, uh, let's, but they, they still they will have, come out the East. I, I, right? You know, I, I always assume they will. But he's looking to find him and put him in this sweet spot. So he's definitely in the comfort zone. And hopefully he can keep this up when Kawhi Leonard comes back. Love, Abel. you're struggling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not yeah. you're one and six against Western Conference team on a road. You got to come out you deep. Bertans thinks he's Steph Curry. Yeah. Made a couple threes, he's shooting them. Ooh, LeBron just puts his head down and said, "Enough of this noise." Oh, yeah, come yeah. on, he Dennis. lived on that group for this group. I don't think it's T. Lewis' fault at all. I think that he got a group of, of veterans, and you know, sometimes you got to be put on blast. I don't know. I think they do got to make a deal. I think they, if for me, I say go out and get DeAndre Jordan. Oh. Because, mm. because. Chain size and attack. Just and, and really at this group, I really do. He's really smart. He plays with his head. He's, you know, his, his body's not quite what it was, but he's going to get them as he drives yeah. in there. Beautiful cut. He come out and score 25 points a game. But if I defend like he did right there, get my guys easy baskets. The king can go ahead and do that. <laughs> yeah when you make guys play in the crowd. That was a great pass by Bertans. Good defense by Brown. Yeah. Not a lot he could have done there. Shot clock was running down. Yeah. And that's just something we, again, I yes. See, you know, uh, when Popovich came in late in his career, Timmy Duncan and he. 23-3 and three when they get to 100 points. 16-0 and 0 here at home as LeBron able to that he wants Murray just to go out there and play. He's the guy that he thinks can average a double-double, especially in his lead at the guard position. And Brian forcing the foul call there. He'll get to. And you know, here I think offensive rebound. And I'm sorry, if you're eyes that the Cavs have out there,